Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. This is Cash Guy and AC Sports Report. NBA Finals getting going tonight. I had to break out the shirt from last year's NBA Finals. Uh, but they are getting going tonight, and we will have full coverage of this entire series, believe me. But uh, there is something big coming up that is not NBA involved. I know we've been heavy on the NBA lately, so I felt it was important to cover this. Uh, that would be Jim Trussell quitting from Ohio State. And then um, after that... Terrell Pryor's potential for being banned for next season. What, what could possibly go on there? Now, as you guys know, we cover college sports at a, at a small level when something huge happens. And I'm not an Ohio State fan. KJ is the only Ohio State fan on this show. I can't stand Ohio State, to tell you the truth. But I think that's something that makes me even better to make this video. Because if you get an Ohio State fan on here, it, makes it, it just makes them look biased. So... But I'm going to defend Ohio State in a lot of senses. Jim Trussell, was it really his fault the players were selling it? Was it? I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe he was the one out there selling it. And even if he knew about it, what was he going to do? Was he supposed to go to ESPN? People are saying, well, he hit it. He should have done something. About it. Was he just going to go to ESPN and say, oh, yo, I, I, I got some guy. Terrell Pryor is selling used game memorabilia. Just say because then he has to suspend him. The record looks worse. I mean, he ends up probably getting canned anyway for snitching on his players and making them look bad because he'll lose the entire team. I, I just don't get it as far as what Jim Trussell was really supposed to do. Uh, I mean, I was just thinking about that. What, what was he supposed to do? Let me know in the comments. Terrell Pryor, now they're talking about suspension. You know, he locked in with Jim Trestle to play in that bowl game last year. He had to guarantee coming back, which was kind of stupid considering the bowl game they were playing in was really not the... It wasn't the national championship, so... I'm sorry, if you believe that you're going to be suspended and someone should have been advising him that he was going to be suspended, then I'll give up that meaningless bowl game, which is really what it is if it's not the national title, to go to the NFL next season. I'm sorry. And if he's really going to not let you play because of that, if he did know about it and he doesn't let you play until it's found out, well, then that one's on him. I'm sorry. But I, I just, th this is kind of one of the reasons I dislike the NCAA. I know a lot of people say they should pay the players, but that, that's just pro sports then. So, I mean, what difference is that? I know a lot of people say, well, that's a rule, they broke it, whatever. But I think it's stupid. You know, a lot of these guys come from poor, not so hot upbringings, and they're trying to get their families out of these, and they have a chance to make money selling their own memorabilia. They're not stealing, they're not doing anything. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't affect your play. I mean, it's like taking the Heisman away from Reggie Bush. It was ridiculous in my mind because it wasn't even about recruiting violations I don't think it was about him receiving improper benefits did that make him play well that year no it didn't it didn't at all what made him play well was a natural skill that he has not transferred over to the NFL but a natural skill level that he was a monster that year that's what made him play well I'm sorry and uh, you know, let me know in the comments what the NCAA needs to change. Because I know it's something, I just can't think of it. Final thing, who reports this stuff? If you're one of the people buying it, are you really going to sit there and say, Yo, Terrell, buy your game in New Jersey, he sells it to you for $200, whatever. And then you go to the NCAA, Yo, Terrell Pryor just sold me his jersey. Or, I mean, are there really people out there doing that? I mean, I, apparently there must be, or someone that's sitting in there you know I, I get this picture that they're like in a foot locker and one of the Terrell Pryor walks in there to buy some new Nikes like his 30th pair because he's already getting money anyway so it's it's that's the comical part to me he gets money on the side so does every single huge player in the NCAA he walks into the foot locker and the one of the guys wearing the striped shirts comes up to him and says yo man I'm a big fan can I buy your jersey he says yeah and then you got a guy hiding, hiding behind like a, maybe Foot Locker, like Models. Let's go with Models. He's looking at shoes. He's talking to them, y'all. Buy your jersey. Y'all, how much you want? They, they make the deal. And then you got this guy sitting behind like a rack of for sale clothes. And 
just watching them and holding out his phone to record the conversation and then almost just looking up and saying yo I just got this on camera I'm gonna send it to the NCA I'm gonna make a ton of money I mean who's reporting this get a life really really I mean this has been going on forever that's all I gotta say for this one let me know what you guys think I'll see you later